yes today we are going to discuss about the eyeball in general aspects so myself or dr moledar badiger department of shari rachana gramin ayurvedic medical college terdal karnataka so when you are seeing the eye from the front view see this is the eye so there will be a dark black color structure circular structure this is called cornea and remaining part white part is called by the name of sclera and center there will be a black color hole that is called pupil so detail we are going to discuss one by one later so see the introduction it is one of the special sense organ designed for the vision special sense organs means the uh, the sensations are elicited by the a specific part of the body for example vision is a only related to the eye not to any other part of the body second one is the shape of the eyeball the shape of the eyeball is it is a sphere shape or the globe when it is a sphere and the globe the diameter should be there its transverse diameter is about 24 mm this transverse diameter is very important in case of the diagnosis of the optical errors or eye errors so we'll discuss that point later so the location of the eyeball eyeball is located in the orbital cavity see these are the two orbits in the orbital cavity eyeball is situated or located next point come to the point external points on the eye if you have seen the eye ball it is a ball like structure so what are the external points first one is anterior curvature and the posterior curvature see anteriorly it is a curved part it is a ball like means anteriorly there will be a curved and posteriorly also curved so this anterior curvature this is called posterior curvature the anterior curvature is related to the cornea so because of that reason it is called corneal curvature and posterior curvature is related to the sclera that is called scleral curvature so after that there is a two more points anterior pole and the posterior pole so identify anterior curvature the anterior curvature after that identify the center point so that is called by the name of anterior pole and identify the posterior curvature and in the posterior curvature identify the center point that is called by the name of posterior pole so anterior pole is the center of the cornea or corneal curvature or posterior pole is the center of the scleral curvature next is visual axis so before going to discuss the visual axis first we are going to discuss the optical axis what is this optical axis an imaginary line passing from the anterior pole to the posterior pole this is called optical axis so here accommodation of the light rays are taken place then image is not going to form so that's is different so try to understand optical axis means the axis imaginary line passing from the anterior pole to the posterior pole is called the optical axis then what is a visual axis visual axis is also imaginary line anteriorly starts from the anterior pole but posteriorly it is passing through one point here this point is called fovea centralis where the photo receptors are present so image formation accommodation of the light rays is going to takes place here so it means visual axis is an imaginary line passing from the anterior pole to the uh, fovea centralis there is a point that is called fovea centralis after that there is a two more words are there this is equator and the meridian what is the equator equator is uh, it is a circular line around the eyeball it is a circular line around the eyeball then how to draw it it is a equidistance from the anterior pole and the posterior pole this is the anterior pole this is the posterior pole equidistance means here the midpoint and draw the circular around the eyeball draw the line see here this is a anterior pole this is a posterior pole this is the line drawing here so this is called by the name of equator and after that there will be another word that is called meridian meridian is also circular line it passing from the anterior pole to the posterior pole it is a circularly it is running but it passing through the anterior and posterior pole or right angles to the equator so this is the meridian and this is the equator and next come to the point eye ball this is a ball like structure so the ball means it has a wall and cavity similarly eye ball is also having the wall and the cavity so the wall is made up of three layers in the eye wall is made up of three layers and cavity is filled with the fluids 
So eyeball is basically divided into two parts. One is the layers, another one is the optical media. Optical media means that media helps for the accommodation of the light rays. So there are layers or tunic or coats. There are different names. So the layers are already told three layers. The one is the outer layer, middle layer and the inner layer. The outer layer which is made up of the fibrous tissue because of that it is also known as fibrous coat. And the middle layer is made up of the blood vessels because of that it is called vascular coat. Inner layer which is made up of neurons or nervous tissue because of that it is called nervous coat. And come to the point optical media inside there will be a cavity but this cavity is separated by the lens. So because of that reason different fluids are there. So we will discuss that later. The optical medias are three. One is the aqueous humor, another one is the lens, another one is the vitreous humor. Next come to the point this is the eyeball. See this is the wall and this is the cavity. This is the wall means outer white color, outer white color layer. So this is called fibrous coat and second red color layer. See here it is circularly present. So this is called by the name of second layer. So that is called by the name of vascular coat and there will be a third layer yellow color. So that is called by the name of nervous coat. So fibrous coat is circularly and red color that is the second red or chocolate color. So that is called by the name of vascular coat and yellow color coat is called by the name of nervous coat. But inside there is a cavity. This cavity is separated anterior and posterior part by the help of the lens. The fluid present here is vitreous humor and here fluid is present that is called aqueous humor. There will be a lens. These are the optical media. One by one we are going to discuss. The first one is the fibrous coat. Fibrous coat is further divided into three parts. Posterior part, see fibrous coat white part. Posterior part is called by the name of sclera. And small anterior part is called by the name of cornea. See small anterior part, this is called cornea. And where the sclera and cornea are going to meet, I think you are observing a small point here. So this point represents the junction of sclera and cornea so that is called by the name of sclerocorneal junction so fibrous coat further divided into sclera cornea sclerocorneal junction and second point come to the point there is a vascular coat vascular coat is also divided into three parts so posterior part is called by the name of chocolate color layer that is called choroid after the choroid superior to the lens there is a zigzag part so this is called ciliary body which is made up of the muscles smooth muscles that is called ciliary body and after the ciliary body anterior to the lens there is it continue so that is called by the name of iris vascular coat further divided into three parts first one is see this is the choroid and this part is called ciliary body and this part is called by the name of iris and third layer it is called nervous coat nervous coat is uh, divided into three parts See this posterior complete posterior part posterior to the choroid interior to the choroid. So this is called optical part. Optical part means here the image formation is going to happen and there will be nervous coat is going to continue interior to the ciliary body then it is called ciliary part interior to the retin interior to the iris that is called iridial part. See this is the optical part. This is the iridial sorry ciliary part and this is the uh, uh, iridial part this is a ciliary part okay in the optical part in the optical part at the level of the visual axis i already explained there is a one depression so this depression is called by the name of macula lutea inside the macula lutea there is a another depression that's called povea centralis inside the povea centralis there is a presence of the rods and cones rods are active in dim light and cones are active in the bright light here the light rays are passing like this and accommodating in the povea centralis that helps for the image formation next we are going to discuss about the optical media before going to discuss the optical media first eyeball interior interior of the eyeball is divided into two segments one is the anterior segment another one is the posterior segment see this is the anterior segment anterior to the lens is anterior segment and posterior to the lens is posterior segment Posterior to the lens the cavity is called posterior segment, anterior to the lens cavity is called anterior segment. So the anterior segment further divided into anterior chamber and the posterior chamber. How? By the help of the iris. 
anterior to the iris is anterior chamber posterior to the iris is called posterior chamber but anterior segment further divided into anterior chamber and the posterior chamber but posterior segment there is no divisions but anterior segment consists the fluid or having the fluid that fluid is known as aqueous humor it may be anterior chamber or it may be posterior chamber both are having the aqueous humor but posterior segment consists the fluid that fluid is known as vitreous humor in short i am going to explain so outermost layer this is a fibrous coat second layer is vascular coat third layer is nervous coat outermost layer is divided into sclera sclerocorneal junction and this is a cornea and second layer vascular coat is divided into choroid ciliary body and the iris and third layer is called the third layer is called nervous coat nervous coat is also divided into optical part and posterior to the cilia this is called ciliary part and posterior to the iris that is called <coughs> iridial part and next interior of the eyeball which is divided into two segments anterior to the lens is called anterior segment and posterior to the lens is called posterior segment anterior segment having the fluid that's called aqueous humor and posterior segment having the fluid that's known as vitreous humor thank you